All right, so today is August 8th, and it is about 8 p.m. And uh, hi, I'm Eli, and I'm subbing for Oliver this week. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but that's okay. So I'm Eli, 17, pre-everything, kind of half out, socially transitioning. Uh, my parents, well, my dad doesn't know, but my mom is completely unaccepting. She doesn't want anything to do with the idea of me being anything other than a straight cis woman. And that's pretty difficult for me. This week, the topic is dating. And I just wanted to talk about you know, my experiences and you know what, it, what it's like to date as a trans person and all of that. So um, in general about dating, I just think it's a good idea to befriend someone before you start dating them. As much as you'd like to believe love at first sight is a good idea, it's always good to get to know someone at a deeper level before you start dating them. Another important thing about dating someone is to not rush things. Um, it's exciting and new to date someone, but it's important not to rush into more than you can handle. The key thing with any relationship long distance, local, it doesn't really matter, is communication. If you can't talk to your significant other about what's on your mind or what you're up to, then it's probably not a good idea. As with any relationship, um, you know, with a trans person or two trans people or whoever, uh, it's important to make sure that your significant other is comfortable with anything. Uh, names, pronouns, uh, what you do together, how you act in public. One thing I've noticed about dating long distance is jealousy. It's easy to get jealous. It's easy to be protective. It's easy to get angry when your significant other can't spend as much time with you as you'd like. So it's really important to get over jealousy or cope with it, or just keep open communication with your significant other so you don't have to feel these things alone. In my personal experience as dating as a trans person, it was a lot easier for me, I suppose, because uh, you know, I came out and this person was completely understanding and accepting of it. About Six, eight months after I came out as trans, the significant other came out as trans themselves. Um, and that was interesting for me. I had never really considered being in a relationship with a man after I came out as lesbian in high school. Um, but I kind of realized that gender was just you know, it's it's words and how you refer to someone, and I guess how they how they appear. Airplanes. Look at them. Okay. In the sky. And so after I came to terms with uh, him being trans, uh, our relationship has gotten so much better. We can communicate. We understand each other. We get that it's. We get what it's like to be trans and all the struggles that you face with that and how being in a relationship is as a trans individual and I just think the biggest thing is communication and it's important to be friends with your significant other. If you can't do things with them and enjoy it as friends would and then also on a romantic level it's just too difficult to be in a relationship like that you have to keep spending time together and make room for being friends as well as being lovers and so that's all i got Thumbs in I have none you teach me cause we
does a porta potty there. Can we just can we just appreciate that? Broken